Guys, I don't think you understand. I have to be at the airport in 20 minutes. My flight is in an hour and a half. I'm just kidding. I was tempted to use that trick that every other influencer uses. But not today. It's actually the day before I go on a holiday. I have the entire day to prepare. I feel like a really organized queen right now because I'm not usually like this, in all honesty. But I'm going to Biarritz again because Tom's family have a house there. But yeah, really excited to go. We're going with some of my best friends. I'm super, super excited. It's going to be such a good time. So yeah, I thought we could pack together. I was actually today years old when I found out that you can take a whole ass suitcase for free on Swiss Air which has made my day because it means I could take this and my handbag and not get into trouble. Usually if I'm flying with EasyJet or someone that doesn't allow you to take a small suitcase like Ryanair or something I will take my Longchamp bag which I actually can't find so it's kind of a good job that I can take this. I'll leave a picture of the one that I usually go for here. It's super super good because it doesn't have wheels you tend to get away with it with EasyJet and Ryanair to be honest they don't really tend to size them up as much don't take that like 100% and run with it because I have been charged for it once but that was once out of around 50 flights that I took last year so more often than not you'll be absolutely fine but I'm just saying I don't want to be like responsible for anybody getting any baggage charges let's kick things off with this suitcase I haven't actually measured it to be honest so I don't really know if it's the right size but it said a small suitcase this looks like a small suitcase to me. Before we do any more, I'm actually gonna just chuck my hair up because it's so diabolically hot and I just can't take it anymore. The hair is up and let's get cracking. First things first, actually welcome to our bedroom slash wardrobe room because I don't actually think you've seen it in all its glory yet. It's my favorite room of the house. I don't really know where to start. I'm gonna start with shoes, I think, and then move into like trousers, shorts, blah, blah, blah. It's actually not the easiest holiday to pack for because once we're only going for four days the temperature is going to vary by 10 degrees so going from 31 and decreasing all the way to 21 i don't really know what's packed i don't really know what to wear obviously it's still very much a beachy holiday so we're gonna we're gonna head off that front as i mentioned we're gonna kick things off with shoes now i always 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 travel in my balenciaga triple s's just because they are so bulky they would take up half my suitcase alone so i'm already gonna have them i want to take hold on i'm gonna come around the side to show you a little bit better i'm also gonna take my nike i think these are the chlorophyll dunks but i'm not 100 percent sure i actually bought them in burets last year they're one of my favorites for sure i love them to pieces i'm also gonna take my yeezy slides because these are perfect for going down to the beach it's like a five minute walk can't really think of a better shoe than these they are super super comfy and visibly quite dusty as well so i'm gonna clean these before i put them in and finally whenever i I go on holiday i always take a pair of heels these are actually my heels of choice at the moment these are from miss lola as you can see they've got the glittery strap i just feel like there's something about them when you take photos of them or when you see them glistening at night they're really really cute and i'm not really like a, a silvery person in general like i don't really like silver trousers or anything like that it's just not really my style but these really do add a pop of color to an outfit pop of color what am i talking about like a little bit of a glisten a little Little bit of a shine to an outfit so these are actually my favorites at the moment i usually would take my black ones but i don't have them with me they're still in england these are gonna have to do but as you can see the strings straps are very very long like ridiculously long and then i'm also gonna take these black chunky sandals as well these are from shein i feel like the issue with me is that i love shoes so much that i end up filling my whole suitcase with them which doesn't end up being ideal for packing restriction i mean half my suitcase is already taken up not great next things up is knickers pants socks underwear that sort of thing my underwear is all in the top drawer and i'm gonna go with comfy stuff more than anything so this one's from lounge this is from lounge this is from lounge this is from lounge and then i'm gonna leave myself one out for tomorrow i'm actually only there three nights so i only really need three pairs but i always like to take in insurance policy socks wise i'm only gonna take two pairs i think because more often than not i am gonna be wearing my sandals or my slides or something like that and also that being said i did leave a few pairs of pants knickers and swimwear last time we went in well last month so i know i've already got like a couple of things over there i'm gonna take one normal bra and one like comfy bra again this one is from lounge and this one is from boo avenue 
swimwear wise, I'm gonna take one white bikini and one black bikini. This one is significantly cheekier, as you can tell. There's not really much over the whole bottom area. This one is a little bit more acceptable. And then I've got the same as this in blue already there. So I'm kind of covered on all bases on swimwear. We're only really there for three days, no, four days. Do I really need three swimming costumes? Yeah. You can tell by now I am literally a serious, serious overpacker. If you've not seen my pack with me for LA, that was shocking. But you know what? I ended up wearing like two thirds of what I took to LA, but it was just nice to have the choice. Right, trousers. I'm taking this pair of white linen trousers from Naked Fashion. These are my all time favorite white trousers ever. I'm also taking these Zara, also 100% linen trousers that I wore to a wedding recently, as you can see wide leg flowy it's the only way you can go on a summer holiday when it's this hot or at least initially this hot as I mentioned I'm going tomorrow but it's currently 36 degrees both here and there so don't know how much I'm going to be needing the trousers it is due to be going down to 21 but for the evening I just like to have them don't know if you can see that but she is filling up very fast I'm then going to take a couple of dresses. This one's a long dress. It's a tiger print, zebra print, and it's like white and brown. Took this to LA and I actually wore it twice. I actually wore it last time I went to Buritz as well. I just love a dress that you can chuck on and it's like a full outfit. So she's coming. And then I've also got this little black number that's completely backless from Zara. I've only recently sewn it back up because I had ripped it and I'm very excited to wear it again. I've also got this black little crochet number from H&M that I'm gonna take. This other crochet number. The fabric on this is actually really cool. It's from Boohoo. I wear it to absolute death. I thought it wasn't gonna wash very well like in the washing machine, but it was perfect. I washed it yesterday and loved it. I've got this little black tank top she's quite like sturdy like she doesn't really stretch very much but she's gonna come with me as well again from boohoo a really really good quality basic actually tops wise this is my final selection this i actually bought especially for this trip because i knew we were going with our friends and it's like the perfect like disco beach club top i also am taking this green i mean it doesn't look very green but i promise you it is green zara lace up top where it's lace up at the back i wore this to death in la as well if i find a picture i will put her here various little tank tops this is pull and bear it's like the limitless contour dupe from zara another little one as you can see i just like to take a lot of basics and make an outfit up out of them then i've got this romper here i mean i tend to wear it like this because i prefer it to be low cut at the back as opposed to the front i also wore this last time i went to buritz i mean let's be honest buritz is not like the fashion capital of the world i mean it's more of like a surfing town at the end of the day it's become a bit touristy now but it's more of a surface town i forgot to mention actually it's in the southwest of france and that's where tom's stepdad's from that's why i am lucky enough to go quite frequently because it's like a family home right these are going in as well this one i want to be really gentle with because i mean you can imagine i also really want to take this little outfit from a recent h&m haul that i did it is the bright pink skirt like this and the cropped pink shirt as well. These are actually different shades of pink. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but there's a specific club that I could really wear this to and that I really want to wear it to. It's giving like Barbie vibes and I've not worn it together as a set. So I really want to. My boyfriend literally gets home in five minutes. <laughs> you know, at the beginning of the video, I was like, I'm not gonna be that influencer that's like, I need to be ready in five minutes. Well, here I am. Last two tops that I'm taking, this little Zara one here, which I've had for years and this little boohoo off the shoulder moment here. Shit, I need to fit my makeup in there actually. Do you know what? I think I can sacrifice, no, because the dunks would look so good with that outfit. No, I'm gonna sacrifice the dunks because I forgot I have not put any of my makeup in here and that's gonna, definitely gonna be a problem. Back we go. Right, goodbye dunks, you've been good to me. Got this black shirt as well, which I'm gonna take, which is from Zara, it's linen as well. Obviously there's a bit of a theme going on. I seem to be obsessed with my linen. Everybody knows that already. She's gonna come and I'm gonna sacrifice 
this H&M one. That looks like it's going to fit a lot better. I actually need to bring my laptop as well because I need to edit this video whilst I'm on the plane and things like that. Jewellery I always wear on me, so that's fine. Then for my carry-on, it's pretty simple. I just wear my YSL bag. I have my passport in it, my card holder and bits like that. And then my little TikTok shop light, which apparently needs charging. I didn't realise that must have been on in my bag. So I'm going to take that and the charger. My boarding pass is on my phone as per usual. My makeup needs to go in though. So that's just going to go in there. I'm going to leave it open for now because I actually need to chuck everything into a liquids bag because I'm not checking anything into the hold. That might be everything. I'm pretty sure it's going to close. It's going to close. It's a good day. I'm also going to wear like a hoodie around my waist or something when I am traveling because I always like to have a hoodie on me, especially because it's going to get down to 21 degrees in the evenings and stuff. Like I might want a hoodie, especially by the beach because it's quite like windy and stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to take yet. I might just wear this set because it's got the shorts underneath as well but yeah i think that's gonna be my airport outfit obviously as i mentioned i'm gonna wear the triple s's i'll wear all my jewelry at the same time it saves me from having to take it or put it in my bag sorry and my laptop needs to go in but aside from that i think that is everything guys i honestly have no concept of how long this video is going to be because i've been filming for 40 minutes i really hope you've enjoyed i really hope it's not too short of a video if you have enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up if you are interested in seeing what we get up to in Biarritz, I'll be posting loads on my Instagram. I'm not going to vlog, but there's still going to be plenty of content and stuff. I will upload as much as I can onto YouTube. For the time being, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I'm going to take. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!